Hello guys, today I am going to explain you about some basic definitions that you are going to use before you dive in into the world of microcontrollers. Now since microcontroller is synonymous with electricity and electronic things, you first need to know what are the terms, basic terms of the basic definitions that we are going to use. So today I am going to explain it to you all. I am going to explain you what is voltage, what is current, what is resistance, what is capacitance, etc, etc. Suppose you know all these definitions, you can obviously move on to the next level. And suppose you don't know, don't worry. We will explain it to you all. Okay, now let's get started. First, the term is voltage. What exactly is voltage? Voltage is a potential difference. Okay. So consider this word difference. Remember this. Basically, this difference is created and maintained by a generator. This value is expressed in volts. The symbol is V. Okay. So when you switch on the generator of closed circuits, it produces and keeps this potential difference. Voltage is a difference and has to be measured between two points on a circuit. We use voltmeters to measure this voltage. Okay. I told you to remember this word difference. So when I say difference, what comes to your mind? Subtraction, I guess. Okay. Subtracting a smaller number from a bigger number. Okay. It's like subtracting 2 from 10. So 10 minus 2. It will give me 8. This is what voltage is. Okay. Subtracting something. Okay. From a higher value to a lower value. Let me explain it to you via hydraulic system. Okay, you see two tanks here. Suppose one of the tanks is full of water. Let's call it high potential. The other tank is has actually no water or less water. It's, let's call it as low potential. Now both the tanks are connected with a valve fitted. The valve is closed for now. Now when you open the valve, okay, or you connect the circuit, what happens is water from higher potential starts flowing through the valve to water in lower potential okay it will flow till the voltage level or the water level actually becomes equal now suppose instead of valve you have connected a led here and instead of this high potential you have connected plus 10 volts like here and instead of low potential you have connected the ground here so what will happen is voltage actually so voltage from high potential or 10 volts will start flowing towards the voltage with low potential. Okay, the side with low potential and in between the, there's a LED present. So the LED gets lighted up because it's receiving current from the high potential and and the current is going through the LED. Okay, even in this valve, the current, uh, the water level is going through the valve in the same way for a LED, the current will actually the voltage will go through this LED okay the electrons will move through this LED towards the low potential so the circuit gets completed and the bulb or the LED will light up this is how voltage is measured or told okay to measure the voltage you have to connect two pins of voltmeter okay a voltmeter has two pins the voltage pin and the common pin or the ground pin okay connect the plus pin here connect the common pin here and you can see a reading that how much voltage is present the next is current and power now current can be compared to the hydraulic volume flow rate which is a volumetric quantity of flowing water over a time interval the current value is expressed in amperes and the symbol is a let's come back to our hydraulic system okay let's consider this part okay this small part I am considering this small part. Hmm. So suppose in one second, one liter of water flows through this part. Or suppose in uh, one second, two liters of water through, flow through this part. So that one liter and two liter of water is what is current. It's the volumetric flow rate. Okay, How much amount of water flows through it per time interval, per unit time. And that shows that how much current is flowing through the circuit. That one liter of water will be 
current okay in the current terms if i tell you it's measured in amperes so for a circuit i will tell that the current is 1 ampere or current is 2 amperes it means that 1 ampere of current okay one volume of water one ampere volume of water is flowing through the circuit at this given time the next is power power is a specific notation which is expressed in watts okay the voltage the relationship between voltage current and power is power is equal to voltage into current where power is in watts voltage is in volts and current is in amperes okay so power is actually nothing but what's the actually what's actually power okay it's how much force you have it's like measuring your own power so now comes resistors capacitors so what are resistors resistors are devices or small components that slow down the flow of current so let's get back to the hydraulic system suppose in this system okay in this tank you put some pebbles here so what will happen is when water starts flowing the pebbles will obstruct the flow of water right they will slow down the flow of water so those pebbles are resistances some circuits require resistances just like suppose you connect a led here you will need to connect a resistance to the led reason being is that when too much current okay suppose i say 1 ampere of current is flowing but a resistor can handle only a current of let's say 0.9 amperes so 1 ampere is a little greater than that and suppose i say 5 amperes of current is flowing so it's too much actually 5 amperes is too much of current so we need to connect some resistances so that it will slow down the flow okay it will let the water flow slowly it will let the current come slowly to the device and it won't damage the device so sometimes resistance is necessary sometimes it's a big problem to a circuit the next is capacitance okay capacitance capacitance uh, capacitors actually capacitors are devices okay a capacitor is another type of component that is used very often the direct analogy analogy is the rubber membrane put in the pipe okay actually capacitors are devices that collect current okay that store current so let's let's say you connect a rubber valve here what will happen is it won't allow the water to flow okay it's storing the water that storage of water is capacitance the capacitance is measured in farad and it's represented as f the next thing is a diode okay a diode is a two terminal passive component but it is polarized it lets current pass through it only in one direction led is a specific type of diode what i mean is that suppose i have i guess i used the term led very often now let me explain it to you what exactly an led is the full form of led is light emitting diode but first you need to know what is a diode okay let me explain it to you a diode is a specific component that allows current to flow in only one direction suppose you are connecting a diode here so it will allow a water level or the flow of current or the flow of voltage actually from higher to lower it won't allow it the other way okay now suppose the water from here gets emptied and the water here gets full and you have connected it at, and you have connected a diode which only allows current from this side to this side so even if the water level here is full it won't allow the current from here to go this side because that's how diode is it is polarized okay if it's connected in one way it won't allow the current from another side to flow through it leds are specific type of diodes actually even they allow current only from one side to the other side okay it will cur allow current only from the positive side to negative side not the other way around but when the current flows through it it will light up or emit light that is why it is light emitting diode with this we come to an end but this one important thing that you need to know before you shut this down they are transistors 
Now transistors are actually very complicated type of devices but any electronic lecture can't end without the mention of transistors because transistors have revolutionized everything. So what are transistors? Transistors are semiconductor devices that can amplify and switch electronic signals and power depending on how they are used. There are three terminal components. Every single thing, every big thing that you see is made up of transistors. It's in the motherboard, it's in your father board, it's in everything. Okay, all the circuitry, all the complex circuitries work on transistors. Okay, we won't explain it to you much because we have not used it in much. Just you remember this that transistors are actually the basic building blocks of any complex circuitry. That includes your microcontroller too. We'll explain it to you further in coming videos if we find it necessary. Thank you so much.